90 Day The Last Resort had its final episode, and a lot went down. Kalani and Asuelu are officially calling their relationship quits after his history of infidelity proved to be too much for her to handle, and she's left torn at her decision. This has been the hardest decision I've ever had to make, but there's just nothing more that can be done. So it's hard because it's like there's like the hurt part of me and then the strong part of me that's like proud of myself <laughs> for finally leaving. <sighs> the couples all got together for a group therapy session ahead of the recommitment ceremony. And for Big Ed, he says he's hoping for the best with Liz and has learned a lot at the retreat. So it sounds like even though you're saying there were some difficulties yeah. today, that you're prepared to work through that? Is yes. that what I heard? Whether or not Liz and I move forward, I'm going to come out a better man. That I know. I hope we'll make it. I really do. But I know that I am leaving this village as a changed person with a lot to work on. As for Angela and Michael, despite bringing divorce papers with her on the retreat, Angela seems optimistic about their future. I hate to say this because his head might go big, but he's been being very good. <laughs> like uh, there was an incident. He had a chance to go with the guys to the strip bar and he knows I'm very jealous because of what he did to me and um, he passed. He did respect you. He Good did. job, and, Michael. And that is the start of my trust. We got a long way to go. Like, two weeks can't solve what he's done. But at the end of the day, um, it's a good start. And with Jovi and Yara? Well, after the incident of Jovi bringing the guys to a strip club and texting another woman, Yara is still really upset at him. Jovi's behavior caused me shame and embarrassment. And I do realize that Jovi is the one who should be ashamed about all of this situation because he's the one who lied to me. But I do feel ashamed about all of this. I just don't want for people to call me stupid because my husband liked to go to strip club and prefer some other woman than me. I feel like he was wanted to hurt me. Why would you do that to your wife? Jovi feels guilty about what he did and is hoping that she'll forgive him. It's upsetting for me to see Yara, you know, kind of break down and, you know, I get it. I f***ed up. You know, I just realized now the best thing I could do for my wife is not put her in a, in a position where she can feel shameful. But I'm not sure she's going to be able to forgive me. You know, I can only hope that she still cares about me and she still loves me and she wants to continue our marriage. Later during a one-on-one -on -one therapy session, Yara opened up more about why she feels so ashamed talking about the situation with Jovi, opening up about her upbringing. I think it's a cultural thing to be insecure in Ukraine. Everything about you need to be perfect. My mom, for example, taught me that I was chunky. And my sister used to tell me when I'm going to have a kid, I'm going to be so big because that's my genetics. They always joke on me, my cousins, everybody. So I'm just trying to get to that perfect level all the time. Yara ended up confronting Jovi about the incident, and he profusely apologized. I'm so freaking insecure about my body. I do not like my body. You see how much freaking I am like obsessed with go to the gym and go to the stuff and yes, look good and all that stuff. So how do you think it makes me feel when I see that you like to go and watch other women naked? I didn't understand that you felt that way. If I would have understood that, maybe I could have done a better job of not doing things that hurt you, okay? So if you don't want me to do that and you're expressing your emotions to me, I will not go back because I didn't think that I was hurting you the way that you're telling me now. After she explained about her insecurities over her looks, Jovi promised he wouldn't go back to a strip club, but Yara's not convinced he will follow through on his promise. I will make a promise to you right now. I will not go back to a strip club unless you are with me. Because I don't think that's necessary for me to do that, and even if it's for a fun night out with the guys, I'm not going to do that. Obviously, our marriage is much more could, important than that. Could you keep a promise or you just say that? Because the promise, I can promise you anything doesn't mean I'm gonna do it. It's hard for me to trust right now because you promised me already so much stuff. We can make it better, you okay? You tell me this, you tell me all the time something. And doesn't mean that it's happening. And you see, this is the problem too, because you're dropping the promises, which sometimes you cannot hold it. I'm sorry. And you need to think more deeply about that. The couple's all met up at the commitment ceremony and Angela brought out her divorce papers, but ended up tearing them up instead of breaking things off with Michael. And I'm gonna rip 
all of this up because I truly love my husband. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I can't get them refiled. <laughs> Just <laughs> let me know. I'm ripping these up. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I had no idea she had the paper with her this whole time. I feel so shocked, like my, my heart was beeping so fast. I came in here thinking that Michael had to do all the work, but I need to work on not getting as angry as I do with my husband. And working on our relationship at this couple's retreat to save us from divorce. Asuelo and Kalani committed to being good co-parents to their two children and to their friendship after splitting. I just hope that you uh, forgive what I did and all the past that we have. I just want you to let it go and just make a new friendship. And I just want us to love and respect to each other and trust to each other from here to the future. Well. I do forgive you, and I would like to move forward and be friends. Despite all the drama they faced while at the couple's retreat, Yara and Jovi ended up recommitting to each other. I got to recommend with Jovi today because at the end of the day, no matter what's going on, he is the father of my child. I do still love Jovi, and I know there is still a lot of to learn for our relationship. But we, what we learn, I hope we're just going to take home and we will work and all of that stuff. Jovi had a sentimental speech he made to Yara about how he wants to improve and work on things with her. I want to work on communicating with you better and building trust with each other because that's one of the biggest things we had issues with. I want to make you feel loved. I want to make you feel beautiful. And I want to give you and Myla more of my time. I want to give you more special romantic moments to make you feel appreciated. And I love the way that you have changed me to be a better person. Aww. Aww. Can I give you a hug? I thought hard about this. <laughs> You're so cute. Big Ed and Liz got over their issues and decided they want to be together. Ed reproposed, and Liz surprised him with a ring as well, asking him if he will marry her, which he said yes to. I love you. I will move to Arkansas with you. And I have one more thing for you. No, no. <laughs> will you marry me? Oh, my God. How did you get that? God. Oh, my God. I want you to have this ring so you know that I am forever committed to you. Wow, yes, I will marry you. <gasps> After the ceremony, the couples unwinded at a party, and Ed invited everyone to his and Liz's wedding. Liz and I would like to invite all you <gasps> to Arkansas for our wedding. Yeah! 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 Is that me included? Hell yes. <laughs> all right. Yo, me, I love you. Let's put all the bull behind us, and let's start fresh. Yeah! I just want to say, too, no matter how many differences we all have with each other, I think at the end of the day, everybody supported each other.